Hey guys, Mr. Brightside here. And Professor Buzzkill. Presents... As you may well know, it's YouTube Comedy Week, so we thought we might discuss... Comedy. So, the question of the week is... Is comedy too broad? Question. So that's right. The question is... Is comedy too broad? And you might be asking, what, what do we mean? What, what do you mean, comedy too broad? Like, it's the definition of whether or not people find certain things funny and whether or not the marketing team, I guess, uh, are aiming towards those certain people. Right. When you go to a movie, you're paying to laugh. But the question is, what makes people laugh? Right. And I think right now, basically what we're discussing as far as how the broadness has happened is we have two extremes right now. And what we're going to get into is this uh, thing that's been going on YouTube this week where Michael Sarah has this very serious YouTube video. Yeah, it's called Gregory Goes Boom, part of the YouTube Comedy Week. Yeah, and it's supposed to be funny, and it's extremely serious. Like, extremely serious. It's kind of like that, my best example of it would be like, Napoleon Dynamite goes really dark. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's a very meta, very dark humor, and it kind of ends on a very depressing note. I'm not going to spoil it, but that's what it ends on. And so over there, we have that over there. <laughs> and uh, then on the other side, yeah, we over have... here, we have those really weird marketed parody films, right. like date movie, superhero movie... Um, uh, scary movie, the, you know, they just, they're ridiculous parodies. Have you seen this? Well, this will make you laugh. Yeah. Then. It, it, it's very forced, very lowest common denominator comedy. So on one side, we have the very serious, serious, serious stuff. And on the other side, we have poop humor. Poop humor. Poop humor. Basically. Fart jokes. So, a um, few examples of this. On the serious side, we have Knocked Up. Knocked Up. Uh,. S stupid side, <laughs> no, no, the poop humor side. We have the scary movie. Um, can you think of something? Oh well, I mean, th this is up. forty is a dark comedy. You know, very bad things is a dark comedy. And then you go on the other side. It, it, you can even go to the older ones, not just with the newer films like Airplane and stuff like that. So that's what we're talking about. Discussion. So what I really wanted to discuss when we thought of this topic is um, sort of the point of that whole uh, Michael Sarah thing or the Knocked Up or whatever is, I don't know, to make you relatable. So it's like almost like art film, but also a comedy. <laughs> and then on the other side of it is, is the um, poop humor stuff. And to me, the, the ideal point is somewhere in the center. Um, Tommy Boy, something like that, you know, something that... Yeah, and see, me and you might, we might disagree on, like, everybody's gonna disagree on their tastes of comedy. Like, you don't find fart jokes funny. Sometimes. Where, for the most part. Yeah. Whereas, if you put a fart joke in a film, usually I will laugh. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna say it's a good movie, and that's a whole nother debate of whether yeah, yeah. certain movies are good or not. But, um, yeah, I, I think the thing that really spurns this discussion is two main topics, and that's the parody films. Mm -hmm. Like, are, is America and, and audiences in general just too dumb now because they find this funny? They're going to pay money to see yep. this. And then the other side of it, uh, with the Michael Sarah thing as the biggest example, is, is this dark comedy, can this honestly, it, at least on YouTube, be considered a comedy? Because most people are not going to find that funny. Yeah. I mean, well, I, without ruining it, it's about a guy in a wheelchair and his life. Yeah, and his very depressing life. Um, or, or just it, on on a broader note, um, kind of how how serious are we as a uh, culture right now? Like, I'm just you, very confused with us in general as a culture because you have these people who are laughing at horribly dark and misfortune, and then the other end they're like, like really childish, immature things. So it's like. Are these are these the same people, yeah. or are we diverse? I, I think that it's probably two sets of people. Yeah. I think there's the people that take themselves very seriously, mm -hmm. and uh, 
uneducated people. I, the uneducated. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. What else to put it? You know. Um, well, I like airplane, and I like uh, I like. There are some things I like about the parody movies. I'm gonna put it out that like I I don't like them as a whole. Like I don't, there's there's many, but there's little jokes in there where I still keep going to see them because well, they're so. Stop paying the money. <laughs> <laughs> I see them in the cheap seats, but they're so ridiculous that, you know, I'm not talking like, hey, have you seen, you know who Paris Hilton is? Here's a safe that yeah. falls on her, funny. But, like, you know, there's a fart. <laughs> there's a fart. The fart comes out of the safe. <laughs> but I like dark comedy, too. Like, the Michael Sarah thing, I thought was hysterical. Right. But it's really, it's one of those comedies when you walk away from it at the end, you're like, am I a horrible person because I laughed at this? Yeah. And that's like that's the other like that's why I kind of wanted to talk about the knocked up films because that's not dark humor. I don't know what to call that. That's just that's, like that uncomfortable I would, humor. I would categorize that as as like relatable humor. Yeah. Like it's like an inside joke. Like you ever some a funny thing happens to you on the way to work, so you tell your buddy, and your buddy goes, "Ha ha, yeah," because yeah, I, sure. I know you. Yeah. But if I told that to a stranger, like today I stubbed my toe, and and they'd be like, "Why are you telling me this?" Yeah. And that's how I, I view, like, Knocked Up and This Is 40 and all. It's like, yeah, it's relatable, but from an outside perspective, if I don't know these characters personally, I'm just really annoyed and uncomfortable. And yeah, I, I, the primary thing, I feel like I'm really uncomfortable. And I, that's, I guess, my problem with it, is that it's this sort of, like, people trying... It, I, I feel like it's almost to this point where, like, you see it and they're like, well, you just didn't get it because it's so, you know... Like, that's how life is, don't you understand? I'm like, yeah, but, like, it's supposed to be a parody of life, not actually life. <laughs> like, I think you know? it's, honestly, I think it's poor writing. That's my opinion. Of the knocked up films, it's, it's, I couldn't think of anything funny, so I started writing about my own life. Yeah. And I don't even think it's, like, meant to be a parody. I think it's just, like, the people watch this, and they'll laugh. Yeah. And that's the whole thing we were going back to, is just, like, this marketing of, like, there was a, like, in the 80s and all, you kind of knew what a comedy was, even the early 90s to a certain extent. You know, like you said, Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, uh, or the Jim Carrey comedies and stuff. Like, you knew what you were getting into. You're going there to see a certain, like, I don't know, they were very wholesome comedies. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. How, how I kind of always define it is that it's like a, um, there's a story with ridiculousness. Mm -hmm. The scary movies have no story. And the knocked up or whatever have, have no ri much have, have no ridiculousness. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, and I was kind of thinking about I, I was saying this the other day. What's the like essence of comedy, right? Mm -hmm. Like what what makes something funny? To me, if I had to write it down, I would say surprise. Yes. But what like? I think we talked about this recently, and I agreed. Yeah. Like surprise. Like if I go into my my top comedies, not counting the ones from the '80s and all, because those were. I don't know, those are like stablehood child things. I'm talking about like now, like things I can think of fresh that, like it's like, and you might disagree with me on here, but Anchorman is one of my favorite comedies. I need to see it again. Is because there's a scene where they go into an alley and, and yeah. they get into a giant like war brawl and it's, it's completely unexpected, out of character with the rest of the movie and ridiculous. And that kind of is a staple in me of like what is ideal comedy. And even that goes too far in some movies where they, they do it for shock value, you yeah. know. And it's it's just so broad. Yeah, so really, okay. Yes yes or no, is it too broad right now? It's too broad and it's not, to me, my, my final thing would be it's too broad and it's not, it's not marketed right. It always comes down to marketing. Mm. I feel like, like there are sub-genres to comedy, you know. Yeah. Romance comedy, chick flicks or whatever, and, and road trip comedies and stuff. Like, you, there needs to be, like, a better category system. Yeah, well, yeah, we, we've become very, almost like music, because we're, we're a very, like, uh, specialized culture right now. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, uh, it used to be rock, country, I don't know, big band, you know, that kind of stuff. And the bad old rap. Uh, well, not them. <laughs> <laughs> but now, it's rock. Well, kind of rock. Metal, heavy metal, black metal, uh, you know, death, like metal. death metal, punk, or do you mean uh, indie punk, straight, straight edge punk, like a, a political punk, like you know, it just it gets so se separated. But at least with music, you kind of know. Yeah, you know? and that's the thing is with movies, like the way they advertise, you know, you, you, 
the only time you ever really see it, if you're not a big movie buff, is if it comes on the TV or you see a trailer in front of another movie. And um, I guess that's part of their trick. They trick you. It's their, their lore to get you in to see the but movie. So why would you do that, though? Because they... Um, like, if you know, we, we probably appreciate that very meta humor more, more than most, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, uh, the guy that did Napoleon Dynamite, Right, he, yep. did, he did the um, Nacho Libre and Gentleman Broncos. Yeah, you're right. Those are movies we love, mm -hmm. or like I don't know, love it. We we really like. And if they had marketed it, well, I don't know if they do, but just as an example, uh, if they had marketed it and been like, hey, you know, guys that really like this, like, you know, super meta humor of like kind of awkward stares and stuff, yeah. like you know, like come see this film instead of like highlighting the one scene where a dude like. Or you know yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's it's all on the marketing, and that marketing can be an entire another discussion where it has ruined multiple genres, including horror and stuff like that. So I think to wrap this up, um, it's too broad. It's just it is too broad, and and for comedy week with all the debates going on back and forth of is this comedy or whatever. Yes, I think the question or the, to answer the question, it, it is comedy. Yeah. Uh, I think for the majority of the things we're going to discuss, we're probably going to hit a, well, it depends on who you are kind yeah, of situation. Yeah. Now, that's what it is with comedy, but I think the problem is the um, the lack of nuance. You know, is everyone's trying to make everyone happy because... And then on the other end, do you really want to live in a world where everything is so funnel? Everything's quite. really formulated. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, that's basically... Um, my, my ideal would be sort of that... Tommy Boy Wayne's World thing where it's ridiculous with a story. But your ideal comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I, I mean, just in general, like, I think the only real way to know is, like, to know your director. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, as far and, as comedy goes. And how can people be expected to do that? Like, yeah. Normal people, and I'm not saying, like, normals, but I'm saying, like, people who don't follow directors. Like, I, you know, there's certain directors and I, I wouldn't follow. Know. Yeah, you wouldn't know. I wouldn't but, know at all if I was But I would. Like, like, you know, I'm like, oh, it's a Wes Anderson film. I know exactly what I'm going in for. Yeah. Whereas something like this National Comedy Week or whatever, and they go, oh, Michael Sarah, Arrested Development. Well, his characters are all expecting. over the place yeah. too. Yeah, so yeah. it's like I could see where they could get kind of uh, alienated by the humor. And then it's like, oh, by the way, you know, blackness and yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So until next time, where we talk about the plague and <laughs> <laughs> whatever, <Yeah>. whatever else. <laughs> Remember, Mr. Brightside and Professor Buzzkill. Bidding you adieu. Signing off. <laughs>